Good morning YouTube, so with today's video, we're gonna be talking about Martin Margiela, Autumn Vibe. So, it's a serious video, because Rush just put on the glasses. Now this was a, a release that was launched last year in 2021, and it's class as a Woody Spicy. Rush, what did you get before we get into the note breakdown? Now it's been on your hand for the last 20 minutes, give or take. Mm, I like it. it, it does remind one of Le Lavo's, uh, Santel, Santel which you I just have. jumped right into it. Sure, I, I don't. Like I personally don't know, but because I'm not a big fan of the brand, but a lot of people are forgetting to state that it smells like Lalabo Santel 33. You have a bottle, I know, sacrilegious. I love my Lalabos. So I just wasn't impressed when I was in New York ten years ago smelling it. What notes though do you get? Oh, the first thing you get is the cardamom. I mean, it's cardamom forward. <laughs> All right, so top notes are going to be pink pepper and cardamom. With the meat being nutmeg, maple, but also carrot seeds, and the base is going to be. Cedar and moss. This opens up with cardamom and nutmeg. You're you're right away gonna get the woods, but it does kind of like uh, take like a little bit of a, a journey where you're gonna get that maple in a sense. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's where it differentiates from, from the lalabo. Then the fact that you, that doesn't have the it's a the lalabo sometimes drier than this is. This has okay. a, a little bit of the sweetness from from the maple. Okay, but also sweetness can come from cardamom as well. So it's used like an artificial sweetener. But this kind of reminds me of like taking a hike in the woods. It, it's I think it's a great representation of fall in some ways. I really like the maple. The maple and the cardamom for me is what really gets my my well, the connection. maple is where it goes different from the lalapa. Okay. But it, but I, I would say if you like the lala, the lalapa uh, santo, you're gonna like this. Okay. Yeah, because the, 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 they are they're they're traveling the same highway, but uh, this veers off into its own direction with the maple. But I like the add, the added maple. Yeah, same here. It's it's a really nice representation, and Martin Margiela does a great job when it comes to these representations. Like the names are spot on for the most part, and this is just there's no exception to it. I really enjoyed it. It's clearly an autumn scent that I do think that you can wear in the wintertime. I would say I'd say early spring, all of fall. Just don't wear it when it's like really warm, because for me. <laughs> Lesson learned, let's just say that. And the maple takes this even more unisex than the Santel is. Okay. Yeah. So the Santel is a little bit more masculine? I would say it's a little bit more masculine. The, the maple takes this to where it could be unisex. Okay. But I like it. All right. Now this goes for about $125. I think it had like Sephora or maybe at the Hudson's Bay Company. You can't really find these. Half the price of Santel. <laughs> you can't really get good deals when it comes to this brand. And I find that all their fragrances, even the ones that I really don't care for are like too costly in a sense. Yeah, it can't, it can't, it can't be costly. There was one that I did, it was, I don't know what it's called, but it was a summer one. I was out in the lake at my dad's place. No, not the Ferrari one that you're thinking about. It was like 120 bucks and it lasted like four hours. Uh -uh. By the <laughs> sea or something, sailing by the sea or I don't know. If, that, if that's the case, by the little lava, it'll last for eight to ten hours. Yeah, so I, I'm glad that I was able to get a decant, you know, like I looked up the notes, I'm like, oh, it looks interesting, and I haven't really talked about this brand all that much, and I really wanted to. For me, it's a perfect autumn scent. It's pretty versatile, in my opinion, mm, too. It is. You know, I think it would be a great uh, office fragrance, but also for like a nice night out. Nothing like overly fancy, but like a lounge, a casual date. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a Going out for drinks. It's, yeah, it's a cozy fragrance that, 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 that might garner you a few compliments. For me, it's a sweater fragrance. It's cozy, right? Yeah. It's really cozy. And the longevity off, this was solid. I got like nine to 10 hours with this decan itself. So with a bottle, you're really not gonna. Oh, you can't go wrong. Get, exactly. Get it. <laughs> so I may like, have to go get it now. So anything, anything else that rush? I can't think of anything other than the fact that uh, if you like Santel, you're gonna like this. And this is one that I really do like. Uh, it's just, for me, I'm at a point in my journey that if I want any more bottles, and like, it's actually like October 16th or something like that right now, I, I have to start clearing out my collection if I want anything else. But this is one that- Well, call me. I may be buying some of it. It's a bunch of cheapies, I'll get it. Okay, then don't call me. <laughs> Rush is bougie, that's why he likes I'm stuff bougie. like this. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you like this very video, leave us one of these. We thank you for your time, take care, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching everybody.